and uh, now you can see device is offline now what i'll do is i'll simply turn it on and wait for it to get online see device is online and right now you can see uh, we can connect uh, to the device and we can accordingly control it as well similarly if i will turn it off now then you will notice that it's gonna go offline see it's offline we are not alone they are among us hey everyone Ashish Sandhi this side from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to another exciting video in the series of ESP IDF. Today I have come up with a really great concept and the great project which you can apply and implement in your further all IoT projects. And what I'm talking about is before that I want to ask you one really interesting question. Let's say your device is about to get disconnected due to power failure. In that case, does your device send you the message that it is about to go offline now you must be saying like what kind of a question it is it is totally not possible right but yes this is possible and we have made it possible so this video is specially for that only because in today's video i'm gonna show you that how your esp32 device will send you the offline message when it goes offline already so how is that possible and for doing that we have a concept that is known as the last pin let's say your esp32 is a person and he is very smart right and that's the reason he already predicted future so the esp32 was planning that let's say if i got offline what happens is all my subscriber will be like oh where is esp32 right so in that case he already had a plan he already sent the MQTT broker that I will go offline or let's say if there is any case that I will go offline that you will take the in charge and you will send a message to all my subscribers that I am offline. So last will is like kind of a similar concept which we will be using in today's video. So what happens is when your device goes offline, your MQTT broker will send a message on the behalf of ESP32 that ESP32 is not active right now. So don't send any further request to uh, accept or to ask anything, right? So this is about the last will and this is all that we will be covering up today. I hope you will really like it. So let's move ahead and let's understand how are we going to apply and this concept right so let's move ahead and let's see how do we do it all right everyone so you can see on your screen we have a code from one of our previous project and the project which i'm talking about is the smart door unlock system uh, which we have already created in uh, previous videos i hope you have already watched that and if you haven't watched that don't worry i'll attach the link in here so that you can watch that and uh, uh, you can get more clarity on this uh, now let's talk about today uh, today's agenda is that we want to create uh, uh, or let's say we want to add up an additional feature which is to check the status of your ESP32 whether your ESP32 is connected to MQTT or not whether it's uh, offline or online though so this is basically what we are about to check and we are about to set up today and for doing this I am going to use this existing code only because the uh, I don't want to uh, like uh, like add up everything from scratch. We already have the code. We just have to add an additional feature. So we'll simply put it in here, right? So for that, we just have to set up the feature for last will. Now for doing that, I'm pretty much sure that from a previous video, you remember how we set up the configuration. So in here, we are not using any SSL certification or certificates. So that's the reason it was pretty easy. Now I'm going to use the same configuration, just going to add up the additional feature for the last will part. And for that also, I already have written the entire configuration with me so that I can directly explain you without typing everything manual uh, one by one. You can see over here, I have simply set up the configuration for session because it's kind of a part of a session thing where we have to set up that what is the topic on which your 
message will be published especially the message of your device getting online or offline so this is what exactly we are doing and for that we have simply set up a topic for that right you can set up any other topic also if you want but in my case i'm going to use this only right so uh, the last will message is going to be offline if you want something else to be passed you can pass that but in my case i'm passing offline so this is the last will message now the last will message length also we have to pass this is what i have written what will be the quality of service for using it this is what i have said and that is one which i have said and keep a live uh, timeout session i have also set up and that is for two seconds by default if you will not set the value for keep alive it is going to be 120 seconds so i don't want that to be of a very like a longer period so that's the reason i have set it up for two seconds but if you want to change you can change it according to your requirement so you can change it accordingly right so in this way we have simply set up the configuration for the last fill right so what will happen now is when your device will get offline this message will be automatically published on this topic and that topic will be published by the mqtt broker itself on the behalf of your esp32 device this is how it is going to be done and now one more thing i also want to publish here is that if the device is online then also i want a message so let me do one thing let me uh publish one message when the device gets online so that it will be easy to understand that when the device is going online and when the device is going offline and it's gonna be online right so in this way i am doing it okay so i have done it right now the next thing is that simply just upload it so for uploading it let me go in here and just build it and flash it all the configurations i have already shown you in my previous video that how do you connect to the network how do you connect to the mqtt so all those things are already done that's why i'm not repeating all those steps so you can see on your screen we are connected to the network and we are connected to the mqtt server as well and you can see the uh, messages are published and subscribed successfully right now let's uh, open the mqtt x so that we can see that whether we are able to get the message once we will disconnect the device or not right and for doing that you can see on my system i have already done the setup of uh, this broker which is mqtt.eclipseprojects.io colon 1883 which is the port number right so here we have to make an additional changes and for doing that you can see on your screen here is the option to edit it just click on that and these features just leave it like that just scroll down and here you will find last will and testament so here you have to simply define what topic you are using for last will okay sorry not this one uh so this is the topic which i am using and the quality of service which i am using is one uh last will message retain we are not using it right now if you want you can uh, like uh, select this option but currently i'm not using it right so it, this is how i'm using it so you can say device offline in this way you can send a message from here also and that's it so this is the way like how we are doing it and now that's it now simply click on connect you can see you are connected and now we are able to see everything over here right but one more thing is left that we haven't added a new subscription for the topic so let me simply type that either topic slash last will and choose the quality of service and just confirm it right so in this way we have done it now let's see that whether it is working or not currently you can see the esp32 is connected to the system right so that's the reason everything is fine now what i'll do is i'll simply disconnect it and now let's wait for the message to update so you can see the device is offline 
and here you have got the message on this topic which is last with right now if i will connect it again now let's see whether we will get a message or not you can see we have got the message on here as well right so in this way we have got it and this is online if i will remove it again see i have removed it and again you can see within two seconds we have got the message as offline all right everyone so you can see that uh, right now the switch is off that means the device is offline right now and the same thing you can check on uh, the smartphone as well that device is offline this uh, option which you can see for device status and uh, i have already configured it which you can see over here if i'll get the payload as online that means it's online and it will indicate with the green light similarly if it is offline then it is going to indicate it with uh, the off icon right so in this way it's going to work and this is the last fill topic which we are using in our project and uh, now you can see device is offline now what i'll do is i'll simply turn it on and wait for it to get online see device is online and right now you can see uh, we can connect uh, to the device and we can accordingly control it as well similarly if i will turn it off now then you will notice that it's gonna go offline see it's offline so this is the complete process so this is the way like how we can simply connect your esp32 to mqtt using the last will option which will make your device smarter and you can design a very good system which can give you all the information whether the device is online or whether the device is offline so this is how you can personalize your data so this is the way like how your device can be connected to the mqtt broker in such a way that if the device get offline it will give you the status of that as well so this is all about it i hope you have liked this video and if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you will not miss any videos from our channel so this was it see you in the next video till then bye bye and happy learning